Okay, here are the plates that I made, and um, I'm going to just paint some varnish on them right now. You can use a varnish. This is an artist varnish. It doesn't have to be an artist varnish, but that's what I had. Or you can use a shellac, and if you use a spray shellac, of course, that's probably the best. It's a little tidier, and you don't have to clean the brush. But this is what I have, so I'm just going to paint, covering the whole plate, making sure everything is covered. That. Make sure before you do this that uh, the items are glued down very, very... Okay, well, here's my printing plate. Uh, if you remember, this is the one I put together. I put together two uh, with some, I glued some aluminum foil and seeds and rice and tea onto this piece of cardboard, which I'm calling my printing plate. And I let the glue dry, glued it down really good, let it dry, and then I put shellac on top of it and let that dry. So the plate's ready. Uh, I'm I have a piece of paper here, a sketchbook paper, and it is laying on a towel because it's wet. I've wet it because I want to make sure that the, the paper is flexible enough to work into the plate, um, the, the textures that I have on the plate. And over here I have a palette. I have been mixing some colors before, and I put some more colors down. Um, I put a red down, a white, and a yellow, just some colors that I thought would be look good on this plate. And I also have a transparent medium, which you can buy in a bottle or a jar. This just makes the, the paint a little more transparent. And I'm just going to mix some of these colors together and start painting the plate. I want to make sure that I have enough paint on the plate. I might have to even add some more paint to my palette. What I'm working to do is fill in all the crevices on the plate so that I can print them. Transparent medium will extend the colors a little also. It'll take, it'll take quite a bit of paint just to fill in where all the textures are, the dish, the rice that I glued down, tea. just about covered. I have some nice colors going on in here. It's being very arbitrary with the color. about ready now. All right. Blend that in a little bit over there. Now I'm going to take some of this paint off my hands and here's my paper this is a 
This is fairly wet. Ran it under the faucet for a while. Now I'm going to take another sheet of paper and put over that so I can press the wet paper down into the plate. My method is to start at the top, press, pressing down fairly hard. I don't want to poke through the paper if I can help it, but I want to see if I can record everything that's on that plate. So I'm pressing down pretty hard into all the crevices. If you start at the top and you slowly work toward the bottom, you kind of know where you are. Obviously, this is a method that you can't really see what's happening until you finish. So you want to make sure that in this process you get everything pressed down. If you had a printing press, um, it would make it easier because the pressure of a printing press is much more than what you could do with your hand. So it would, would record a lot more of this collagraph plate than I, even I could do with my hand. But because we don't have a printing press here, we're going to use our hands. And they were pretty good, too. So I, I've more or less covered the plate. I'm going to go over it a little bit. I can sort of see what has been recorded here. Basically, I just want to get as much of the textures on the paper as I can. work into those little crevices. This takes a bit of work, especially when your printing plate has so much texture on it like this one does. Obviously, if you choose a lower relief that is less pronounced textures, it's going to be easier to record everything on the plate. Well, I think I'm finished. Here comes the surprise factor with printing. I'm going to take this paper off. And now I'm going to take the bottom paper off and see what we have here. Tore it a little bit right there. But that's quite lovely, isn't it? And I like the colors, so I picked up a lot of the, the, the rice shapes, the mesh, and if that dries now, maybe what I'll do is I'll print it again using this plate or another plate to get some more variation on that.